Hey guys, it's Amanda Fitter here, and today I am bringing you some fun unicorn shaker shadow box cards and also some DIY envelopes. I just received this magical unicorn collection kit with my last design team kit, and I couldn't wait to use it. So I'm going to use this new shadow box die from Heffy Doodle, and I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. Twice, actually, um, and once I'm going to put a window in just the front piece. So I'm going to go ahead and start folding on my score lines. I don't want the inside of the card to be white, so I'm going to cut out some pieces that will fit perfectly on each wall of the inside. I also really liked this Be a Unicorn in a Field of Horses sentiment, so I'm going to figure out some way to put that on my back wall. I'm going old school here and I'm just using a pencil to figure out where I need to cut down each of the pieces of paper for the walls. I'm sure I could have looked at the die for measurements or even used a ruler, but I like to keep it pretty simple and quick and easy, so I just used my pencil and it worked out just fine. <laughs> I'm just using double-sided tape to adhere all of my pieces of cardstock to the sides and the back of the shadow box. So now I'm going to create the shaker part of the card. So I'm going to grab um, some acetate sheets. Again, I'm just going to mark with a pencil approximately where I need to cut. And I also need to cut two pieces because I want the shaker portion to be see-through. So I'm just using my paper trimmer to cut them down. Um, again, they don't have to be perfect. Um, but you just want to make sure that you have enough of an edge around the window to put some foam tape. So now I have my two pieces of acetate that are about the same size. And I'm going to use some thin double-sided tape to put all the way around my window and that will hold my first piece of acetate down. So now I'm going to pull the white backing off of all of my pieces of double-sided tape and then I'm going to place my piece of acetate down. Now I'm going to grab my 3D foam strips. These are super thin and um, my go-to for making shaker cards. The one thing you want to make sure is that you're not leaving any gaps um, in the corners or anything in between the pieces of foam tape because you don't want your shaker elements to fall out. So I'm going to grab my um, anti-static tool that I use for heat embossing and I am going to rub that around the inside of my foam tape and that will keep my, my shaker elements, my shaker slices, from sticking to the edges. So now I'm adding my rainbow slices and my cloud slices and these are both from Dress My Craft and I'll put a link to those below. Now I can remove my paper backing and place on my other piece of acetate on top. Because I added that shaker element to the front of my card, the die is not gonna work exactly how it's supposed to, so I need to cut the flap down so it will fit in that front area. So now I can add the double-sided tape to that flap and start assembling my card. I'm going to use a thin piece of double-sided cardstock um, on this portion, but on the other flap I can use a thicker piece. I just want to make sure that it holds really well. I'm putting the double-sided tape on the opposite side of the flap for this one because I want that flap to be on the outside of the card instead of the inside of the card where it would be visible when you're looking at it from the front. So you can see here I'm putting it on the back side. So now I'm going to create a little slider for my unicorn and a little slider for my rainbow. 
I don't really have any special dice for this, I'm just sort of winging it. So I'm going to cut down two pieces of acetate into thin strips, and then I'm sort of measuring where I think they need to be folded so they'll fit inside of the card. I'm just using my fingers to fold them, nothing fancy, um, and then with a little bit of trial and error, I'm adjusting the fold so that they fit inside and they are completely straight across. So now I'm going to pick out a unicorn and a rainbow from the die cuts that come with the kit. Um, there are so many to choose from and they're all so cute. So I just kind of stuck them inside to see what they look like and, um, and then I finally narrowed it down to two that I really liked. So now I'm grabbing another piece of acetate and I'm going to wrap it around the slider. I'm folding it so that it can slide back and forth easily on that strip. So then once I have it um, where it slides easily back and forth, I'm just cutting it down, just trimming off the excess. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the rainbow slider. I felt like the strip was a little bit too thick, so I'm just trimming it down with my scissors. So now I'm ready to add the double-sided tape to hold everything in place. So I'm going to put um, two strips on the little piece, one to hold the unicorn and the rainbow, um, to the slider and then one to hold the slider shut around the long strips and then I also need to put double-sided tape on each of the tabs of the long strips so that will hold them inside the card. So now I can um, place my sliders inside the card. I just am um, kind of playing with it, sticking them in there, um, seeing how it looks with the shaker slices on the inside, and I'm just adjusting them until I feel like I like the way they look from the window of the card. Um, definitely took me a few tries to get them perfect, but I really liked how it ended up. So now on to making the envelope. I'm going to use my 12 by 12 scoring board. Um, underneath the board it has the corner piece you need to make the envelopes as well as a scoring tool. On the instructions for making an envelope, if you want to make an A2 size card um, envelope, you need to cut it down to 8 by 8. So that's what I'm going to do here with my paper trimmer. So to make an envelope, you want to line your card up like this and score it where it tells you to. So for an A2 card, it says to score it three and a half inches. Then you'll turn it 90 degrees, line up the notch with the last line, score again, and continue to do that for the other two sides. So now I'm going to um, grab my corner and notch punch that you can also buy from Dress My Craft and you just line it up with your score lines and then just push down and it'll cut out that notch for you. And then the opposite side of this punch is to round the corners. Um, you really only need to, to round the two corners that will be visible. So I'm just going to um, do the two longer pieces.
So now I can go ahead and fold on those score lines and then I will be able to just put some double sided tape on it and that will hold the, the envelope together. So after I get my tape on there, um, I can show you that the folded card fits in there perfectly. So now I am going to decorate the outside of my envelope. I'm using this um, border punch that's from Just My Craft. I'll put the link below. Um, and my favorite thing about these punches is that it collects all the scraps underneath so you don't have little scraps all over your table. So I'm going to cut out this little heart um, that's from the couple, couple and heart die set. And then I'm also going to um, cut some tropical swirls, which are probably my favorite die that I use all the time um, from Dress My Craft. And so I'm just going to um, put things down, see how I'm liking it. Um, before I glue anything down. Um, so I think I got it pretty much how I like it. So I am ready to um, to glue these down now. This card and envelope were so easy and fun to put together that I made another card and envelope as well. You can see both of the cards and envelopes in the photos. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to share another project with you soon. Bye!